Hi everybody, this is Sheila with designsbybabymoon.com and I wanted to show you how to take a single design and make multiples of it in the same hoop um, in the software that I use called Embrilliance Essentials. So uh, if you would like to, you can grab this freebie design over at www.designsbybabymoon.com and uh, the file that we're going to be working on is called the key to happiness so let's go over here to the design that I already have opened up in my software again I'm using Embrilliance Essentials that you can get from Embrilliance.com and um, this is a great software for editing and for changing the colors and for adding lettering to your design files we're going to use a super fun function in the software so that we can make more than one at a time making one at a time is fun and fast and easy it's a great way to use up your scraps but sometimes you want to make a bunch at a time so let's see how many of these we can get in one hoop now on my machine I have a 5 by 7 hoop the design comes ready to load in a 4 by 4 hoop but I, I want to make more than one at a time so what I've got is I've got a um, I've got a hoop size 5 by 7 selected in my on my screen and you can select any kind of hoop any size of hoop that you have um, and you'll see down here it'll say the sewing field or and in metric and approximately in inches so I'm going to use that 5 by 7 size so I'm going to click OK and it's going to bring that up on the screen and then what I want to do is I want to grab this design and I want to show you over here how you can see the steps of the design on the side so this design has three steps it has a placement stitch it has the lettering that you would add and then it has a final stitch that stitches the front and the back together so um, let's first straighten this out in our hoop and by doing that we're going to select the step uh, number one here which selects the whole design so let's grab this little circle right here and spin it till it's about straight in the hoop now it doesn't have to be perfect but let's try to get it as close as we can and if you need to zoom in a little bit and that looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna leave it there and zoom back out just a bit and I'm gonna take now all of this is selected over here and I'm gonna take with my mouse I don't need to click control or anything because it's all selected and I'm gonna drag it up to the top of the hoop now you can see that this design is just under one inch wide for the stitching area now depending on how how much you want to leave around the edges when you cut yours may be closer to five inches long and just a little bit more than one inch wide and that's okay too so if you like to cut in close you can probably get it into less than an inch but I like to leave a good amount of room between the files when I'm making multiples in a hoop so since this is all selected what we want to do is go up here to the top and hit copy you can also use control C on your keyboard you'll unselect what you've got by clicking anywhere on the screen and then going back to edit and then paste and it'll paste it right on top and if you notice in your design window over here on the right side of your screen the objects you've got one object was which is the first one that you brought in and now you've got a new one called two and two is the one that you just pasted so if you've got two selected you can actually grab it with your mouse and slide it down a little bit so now you have another instance of the same design there so let's do that again let's go to edit and paste and it'll paste a third design over here so now that design number three is posted you can take and select it in your software um, on this object pane over here and um, you can click on it there we go Oops. and you can drag it down underneath design number two Um, and so you've got three instances of this design in your hoop. Now it looks like we probably have room to add one more. Now you can add these closer. You'll know after you've done this a few times how, how close you could get them together. But for the sake of this video, I don't want to squish things in. And I don't want you to squish things in and then have a um, problem when you go to cut things out that they're, they're too close together. So let's add one more. So I'm going to go to edit again and paste. It'll paste it up at the top because that's where we copied it from. But I'm going to click on it and drag it down. Now I think this is probably good for now. So we've got four designs in our hoop which will make sewing a lot faster. One thing that you'll notice though, I'm in the, um, I've got the sewing button, uh, the stitch and sew button selected, the stitch simulator. So let's look and see what happens when we sew this whole thing out let's play the design so it's going to sew the first one 
I don't know if we can make it go faster. It's going to sew the L and O, then it's going to sew the second one. It's going to do this. So it's going to sew each step in order. And so that's not really going to save me a whole lot of time, although it might save me some material. Um, what I want to do is I want to sew out all the placement stitches at one time. Then I want to sew out all the lettering at one time. And then I want to sew out the final outline at one time, all on the same piece of fabric with the same piece of fabric on the back. That would save me a lot of time. So let's try that. So since we've got these four in the hoop, let's go and see if we can combine them so that the steps, when they sew out, they'll sew out better for us. So the way you do that is you go up here to your menu and you click on Utility and then Color Sort and watch. This is really cool. So I'm going to click the Color Sort button and it's going to sort this out into a new um, screen. It's reduced the color changes nine times, which is great. And then let's go look. I'm going to hit New View. And it'll open up a new tab in my program. And look at this. What I have now is one design that has three steps. It has all of the placement stitches, and then all of the lettering, and then finally the tack down or the, the finishing stitch, which will sew all four of them at the same time. If I've put one solid piece of material on the front and one solid piece of material on the back at the end, um, I will not have to stop and add material and cut my threads or anything. It will sew these continuously. So that is a super fun function so that you can make multiples at a time in your hoop within Brilliance Essentials. I hope that's helpful. Um, leave me a comment if you need help with that anymore or come visit my group on Facebook called Designs by Baby Moon Friends and Fans. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.